Welcome to this spoken tutorial on essential nutrition actions for pregnant women. In this tutorial, we will learn about nutrient requirements during pregnancy, nutrition actions required during pregnancy. Essential nutrition actions are also known as ENA. ENA is an approach to improve the nutritional status of women and children. During pregnancy, a woman's body undergoes physical and hormonal changes. Her nutritional needs also increase. Nutrition in this period is important for the health of the mother and child. A baby in the mother's womb is dependent on its mother for nutrition. Time span from conception to the baby's second birthday is the first thousand days. This is the period of rapid growth and mental development. It also determines the present and future health of the baby and its mother. For the mother, a nutritious diet provides her relief from nausea and weakness. It helps in brain development of the fetus. It also helps in reducing risk of birth defects in babies and anemia in mothers. Let's discuss the nutrients and nutrition actions required during pregnancy. There are many essential nutrients required during pregnancy. Protein is one of them. To meet the protein requirements, it is advised to eat protein-rich food. Meat, fish, chicken and eggs are excellent sources of protein. Pulses, beans, nuts, seeds, milk and Milk products are other good sources. Essential fatty acids are also vital during pregnancy. These are also called as good fats. For example, DHA and EPA. Fish, nuts and seeds are good sources of these fatty acids. Let's move on to other nutrients required during pregnancy. Folate is essential for DNA synthesis and fetal cell development. It also helps in reducing neural tube defects in infants. Including folate in daily diet during pregnancy is essential. Sprouts, green leafy vegetables, and chicken liver are good sources of folate. Along with folate, iron also plays an important role during pregnancy. Iron is required for the production of red blood cells. It helps in carrying oxygen to the entire body. During pregnancy, there is a rise in blood volume. Hence, Women require a large amount of iron. This helps in meeting the requirements of the growing fetus. A reserve of iron is created in the fetus which can be used by them after birth. Deficiency of iron can result in anemia. To prevent anemia, the diet should include iron-rich foods. Chicken or goat's liver, brain, heart are good sources of iron. Seafood, eggs and garden cress seeds are other examples. Iron is also present in beans, green leafy vegetables and seeds. Turmeric powder and coriander seeds also have some amounts of iron. Anemia can also be caused due to parasite and worm infections. To prevent this, a pregnant woman should take deworming medicine. One dose of deworming medicine is recommended during the second trimester. 
Remember that tea and coffee should not be consumed along with meals. This will interfere with the iron absorption. Interestingly, vitamin C improves the absorption of iron in our body. To do so, eat iron-rich food and supplements with vitamin C rich food. Gooseberry, tomatoes, guava are rich sources of vitamin C. Iron and folate requirements increase during pregnancy. Diet alone does not fulfill these requirements. Thus, iron folic acid supplement is recommended. However, a prenatal supplement does not replace a healthy diet. A prenatal supplement is taken before and during pregnancy. Pregnant women should ask for iron folic acid tablets from health workers. These tablets are provided by Anganwadi centers. The tablet should be taken once a day. Pregnant women should take precautions while taking iron folic acid tablets. Tablet should be taken 2 hours after a meal to avoid nausea and discomfort. At times, she may pass black stools after consuming these tablets. Loose motion or constipation can also occur. However, these symptoms will settle after a few days. Also, iron folic acid tablets should not be taken along with calcium tablets. They should be taken as morning and evening doses. Calcium is another vital nutrient required during pregnancy. Calcium deficiency in pregnant women causes high blood pressure. It leads to swelling of the hand and feet. To avoid deficiency, she should include milk and milk products in her daily diet. Seeds, nuts, green leafy vegetables and dried fish also contain calcium. Calcium supplements are also recommended during and after pregnancy. Calcium tablets are provided by ICDS centers and Primary Healthcare Centers ICDS is an Integrated Child Development Service. These tablets are given from 14 weeks of pregnancy up to 6 months after delivery. The tablet has to be taken twice a day. Excess amount of calcium inhibits iron absorption. Hence, two calcium tablets should not be consumed together. One tablet should be consumed after breakfast or lunch. The other tablet can be consumed after an evening snack or dinner. Do not consume a calcium tablet on an empty stomach as it will cause gastritis. Gastritis is the inflammation of the stomach lining. Another nutrient that plays a vital role is iodine. Iodine is required for good health throughout all stages of life. Iodine cannot be stored well in the body. Hence, small quantities of iodine is required daily. Fish, prawns, milk, cheese and iodized salt are Good sources of iodine. To prevent iodine deficiency, iodized salt should be used. Iodized salt is easily available in the local market. While using iodized salt, a few precautions should be taken. It should be added at the end of the cooking. Iodized salt is sensitive to heat and light. Excess exposure to heat and light could destroy the iodine in the salt. Hence, store it in a tightly sealed dark container. 
Other nutrients that play a vital role during pregnancy are choline and zinc. Vitamin B12 and magnesium are also important. Choline, folate and vitamin B12 together reduce neural tube defects. Neural tube defects are birth defects that affect the brain and spinal cord. Choline is also essential for brain development, whereas zinc helps in fetal development. More information about these nutrients are explained in other tutorials. Please watch individual tutorials of these nutrients. For example, importance of protein, importance of choline and folate. Also watch the importance of calcium and B12. A healthy diet is critical for both mother and child's health. Mother's diet must include different food groups. The first food group is grains, roots, white tubers and plantains. Pulses are second group and nuts and seeds are third group. Fourth group is dairy. Meat, chicken and fish are the fifth group. The sixth group is eggs. Dark green leafy vegetables are the seventh group. The eighth group is vitamin A rich vegetables. Rest of the vegetables and fruits are ninth and tenth groups. She should include at least six food groups in her daily diet. From these groups, she should include protein-rich food groups and good fats. She should make sure to decrease consumption of starchy food. Along with nutrients, water intake is also important. It is recommended to include at least 8 glasses of water daily. Processed sugary, salty food and caffeinated drinks should be avoided. Even alcohol and smoking should be strictly avoided. Remember all the nutrition actions mentioned in this tutorial. They are important for a healthy pregnancy and healthy fetal development. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining.